class! This is the video tutorial for our surprise and secret Mother's Day card. Um, you will need some watercolors or markers or something to color with. I'm going to be using watercolors. Um, hopefully you have watercolor paper. So I'm going to be using this thick watercolor paper. But if you don't, that's okay. You can use drawing paper. And to make a card, you're going to fold it in half and crease it. And then you're going to fold it in half again and crease it. Make sure you crease it. And then we want to make sure it's like a book, right? So it opens this way. So you should have the crease on the top and the crease on the side. And the bottom is where it's opening. So if you're going to use um, watercolor paper, you're just going to fold it in half and make a card this way. Okay, so whatever you have at home, just use that. And I'm going to make sure that my drawing gets put on the front of the card. So we would open it this way. So I want to make sure I draw here, right? So check that before you start your art. So I'm just going to lay it flat right here so you all can see. And I'm, I'm going to draw it on this side only. So I will need a pen that's black. So hopefully you have a pen like a Sharpie that you can use. And we're going to be doing this design. And I, I made one so I could show you. You're going to want to do uh, little birds for your mom for Mother's Day. And think about what size they'd be and who's in your family. Maybe mom and dad and a baby or maybe your siblings. Or think about who you're giving it to. You know, maybe you want to give it to your grandma or maybe a favorite aunt or somebody who's like a mother to you. So think about that and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some circles. So um, my card's pretty small. You could, you could do your card this way too if you need more space for birds. Maybe I'll do it that way this time since I did it the other way for my example. So um, I am going to draw one circle here. Now this is an oval. You can have a perfectly round bird if you want. Make sure they're not underneath each other. So you want to stagger them. So I'm going to do a round bird here and maybe a little bird here. And let's make one that looks like a potato. I don't know which family member that is, but We'll decide and then maybe over here I'm just gonna kind of do another little oval okay and then we're gonna just come in and put some little zigzag down here this will be our grass area so right now we have floating ovals and grass just like that now for each bird we want to draw straight long legs all the way down to the grass, just like this. So some of our birds have really long legs. All right, and now we need to give them all beaks. So you wanna make sure that the beaks don't hit the other birds. So some of them are closer together. So maybe this guy's looking this way, this guy's looking up. So depending on the direction he's looking, well, you have to decide where you want your beak. This guy's looking down. And let's make this guy looking down too. All right. Now for the ones that are looking up, we're going to do two eyes like this. And the ones looking down, he's looking that direction. This guy's got his head turned to the side. And same with this one. So I'm just going to put one eye and one eye. So now opposite of your beak is where your, your tail feather is going to go. So straight out from your beak, you're going to put some tail feathers. And this one's going to have some fancy tail feathers. I'm just doing a little swirl. And then this guy, he's just going to have some simple ones because there's a little bit short room there. And this one, I'm going to do little swirls. This one, maybe some little loopy ones and let's do some more swirls. So 
so you can decide what pattern you want to use. All right, so the guys that have one eye, let's just start with that. They need one wing. So I'm just going to put a little wing in right here. It's not touching the eye. And I'm going to do a little wing down here. So far away from the eye. And then the ones that are, have two eyes, well, let me finish this one here. He needs a little wing too. So this little one's going to have two wings on the side. And this one, the same thing. It's going to be a wing on this side and a little wing on that side. And isn't that cute? And now you have to decide where you want to put your sun. So try and draw a perfect circle. If you can't draw a perfect circle, maybe you can trace something. And then we're going to put our sunbeams. We do a long one and then a short one and a long one and a short one. And then we want to make sure we don't go off the page. So I'm just going to kind of go around like this. Short, long, and short. And then our sun is going to be a happy sun. So I'm going to give him a nice big smiley face. And then that's it for drawing. And now we're going to watercolor it. Now, if you have watercolors, you can get your watercolors out. If you don't, that's okay too. Uh, you can definitely use what you have. If you only have little crayons or markers or pencils, definitely color it in with whatever you have. So I'm going to paint each bird a different color. And you can see here I have mixed up already some colors. So I'm going to do one bird purple. And you want to make sure that your paint isn't so dark that you can't see the eyes. So a lot of water in the paint. And then I'm going to paint this guy, this kind of grassy green color, just like that. And I'm avoiding the wing on the bird right now because I want my watercolor to set up a little bit. We're going to do the wings darker and I'll show you how to do that. And then I'm going to have a blue one. This guy's going to be blue. Needs a little more water. There we go. And so you can just think about how many little birds you want on your card for Mother's Day. And maybe I'll make a pink bird. Let's see, pinky red. So let me make some red down here, but I'm going to put a lot of water in it. Just like that. I'll water it out a little bit. And then I'm going to paint this guy kind of this pinky red color. So all my birds are different colors. Everybody's represented in the family. And I didn't get my little baby bird. So let's make my little baby bird, um, let's make him orange. And I'm gonna use this kind of bright poppy orange because I don't want it to be the same color as my beaks. So whenever you're painting with watercolor, you wanna be careful to not let where you've painted recently go into the other area. So if I were to come in and paint this wing right now, the colors would blur together. So I want to paint all my birds first and let them dry a little bit. And while they're drying, I'm going to paint my sun. So let's get a nice bright yellow and I'm going to just paint over my sun here with some nice bright sunny yellow. And after you're done painting, if you find that your little black lines are not dark enough, once it's completely dry, you can go over it with your pen again. Okay, so let's do the little wings. I'm going to make some really dark purple. And you can see I'm going right into the color here. So it's really saturated. And it'll be much darker than the bird. So I'm going to do a little purple wing here. Isn't that cute? I'm going to rinse out my paintbrush very well. The same thing for the next bird. I'm going to get some really dark and saturated green. I'm going to paint his little wing. And every time we want to change colors, you wash your brush out. And then let's do the blue. Let's decide what blue I want. Maybe this one. So many blues. One thing I love about watercolors is sometimes they look almost black before you get them wet and try them out. So make sure you're trying out your colors 
And this guy has big tail feathers, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint those in just because it has an area to paint where the other ones are just lines. So this one, I'm gonna give him a fancy tail feather. And then I'm gonna do this guy's wing, the same color, it's just very saturated. Okay, and now you're gonna decide what orange you wanna do their beaks. So choose an orange and very carefully, and I'm using a tiny, tiny brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm gonna paint the little beak in here. And you can see this one was wet. This is what I'm talking about. The bird where I painted was still wet, so when I painted his wing, it bled. It kind of looks pretty though. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then this guy was orange, so I'm just gonna paint his little wings orange too. He's all orange. And then the last step is to get your grass green. And you're gonna carefully paint underneath here and give it the grassy look. And you want it kind of zigzaggy. Right? We don't care if it fills in exactly. That's what makes this card cute and charming. So we're just going to paint the bottom here and make sure it's really, really dry before you write on the inside. Okay? And isn't that cute? So then once it's dry, you can write your message to mom inside here. And that is our super secret Mother's Day card for our classes. Hope you have fun making it. Bye.